laps. There are two to go in the Winston 500. And the first five finishers. Daytona, I'm sure, with a chance to win some serious money. Here goes Spencer trying to get a run on the outside. Meanwhile, Skinner trying to get some help from Bobby Labonte on the inside. Spencer's car. Spencer's car went too high, allowed Skinner to come down on the inside. Here they're going to be three of race going into turn three. And Bobby Labonte has a run. Labonte takes second. Jeff Gordon has come to third. And now... Jimmy Spencer is drop kicked back to fourth position. The white flag is within sight of Dale Jarrett as he comes off corner number four. Look at the scramble for position. Here's Gordon trying to pass Bobby Labonte. Gets down on the apron of the racetrack as the white flag waves. One more lap to go. The two noble five contenders are running first and second. Jarrett is the leader, and Gordon is second, but here comes Terry Labonte now up to take third. Jarrett has a pretty good lead, but Gordon's going to get a good run down the back stretch. He's got Terry Labonte right on his back bumper. They could draft past. Let's see if the teammates, how they're going to play out here. Jarrett trying to protect the position, so Gordon decides to go up on the high side of the racetrack. Now he dives back down low. They come off with corner number four. They're headed toward the checkered flag. Let's see who's going to win it. Dale Jarrett has a couple of turn lakes advantage as they come down through here. And Dale Jarrett wins it. And wins the no ball five million. Way yeah. to go, Dale. Wow. Good going. I didn't think he could hold them up. <laughs> Jared wins the race and Jeff Gordon who was another contender finished in second with Terry Labonte, Jimmy Spencer and Jeremy Mayfield completing the top five. Bill? Well Todd Parrott is still perched on the toolbox here in the pit area. Now he comes down after talking to his driver. Congratulations. You just won a Talladega and a million dollars. A million dollars. Can't believe it. <laughs> Had a bad few weeks. These guys have stuck together. They worked till you know what off and um, it all paid off today. And that guy running out front he is so, so smart when it comes to Daytona and Talladega and just tickled to death, man. Tickled to death. And Todd, it wasn't easy. You had a lot of high caliber cars right there behind you. There was a lot of stout competition out there. And um, yeah, he told me, he said he didn't want to wait to the end to get out front. He must have felt that he had a really good car out front. And it sure paid off. Congratulations. I know this, this is awesome. a lot to this you. This is cool. I'd like to say hello to all my, uh, whew, my family at home, Debbie, Tyler, Chandler. Love you guys. See you in victory. All right. They start fanning out. And just got down low. Stewart, Dale Jarrett on the inside line. Newman, McMurray, Carl Edwards. Okay, now Newman's got a good run if he can make a move on the 17, but the 17 will block him. How long can you hold your breath? And Matt did exactly what he needed to do. He did a good job on that restart. A good restart, and he anticipated the pass coming off of turn two. And he wants to see him bunch up behind him. That two-by-two two will slow those guys down. Now the 17 just got to worry about keeping that 12 car behind him. Well, like I said, you start blocking when there's just one guy trying to pass. It's just tougher to do when you've got three or four. Tony Stewart up next to Newman. And he's got to run, too, now. Boy, Matt's does he to ever got to run? Lap. Last lap. Oh, man. Here comes Tony Stewart. He's got the lead in turn one. just depends on who goes with who and how strong that 88 is we're finally going to find out oh, oh crash Carl Petty hard crash we stay green now the caution is out race is over there are 19 scoring loops around this track the 88 oh, baby. Oh, baby. 88 oh, baby. Baby. In front. NASCAR will use their scoring loops television replays to determine the position of the cars on the track. You do not race back to the yellow with NASCAR. And it was a wreck Dale Jarrett was involved in, in that brought on that rule. Woo! Yeah, baby, we're back on the map. <laughs> this is crew 
Chief Todd Parrott. And boy, Dale ran, I talked about, he saw him drop to the back most of the race. That's just a veteran move, smart racing. 